Hello there, everybody. Uh, today we're taking a look at uh, 2 Kings chapter 17. Um, if you remember from the past few uh, chapters, we've been talking about um, the different leaders and whether they've been honoring the Lord or not, and and you know what's that? What is that doing to their people? What's it doing to their homes? And and you, you know just so much of that stuff there. And we see here in chapter 17, um, a bulk of it is spent on. Um, it's just showing that, you know, eventually the Lord's mercy runs out for everybody. And I'm going to pick this up in verse 13. It says, Yet the Lord testified against Israel and against Judah by all of his prophets, every seer saying, Turn from your evil ways and keep my commandments and my statutes according to all the law which I commanded your fathers and which I sent to you by my servants, the prophets. Nevertheless, they would not hear. But stiffen their necks, like the necks of their fathers, who did not believe in the Lord your God. And you see, this is, these are God's people, and they're rejecting him. I mean, just, how would you feel if you continuously reached out to somebody, reached out, reached out, reached out, reached out, and they keep rejecting, 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 rejecting? I mean, what, what emotions would be, what emotions would you have? And, and you know what? God's right to have these emotions. My people keep rejecting me. They keep rejecting me. And verse 34, it says, To this day they continue practicing their former rituals. They do not hear the Lord, nor do they follow the statutes or ordinance or the law and the commandment which the Lord commanded the children of Jacob, who he named Israel with a covenant. And eventually the Lord says, okay, you know what? I'm just going to take my hand off you. I'm going to take my eyes off of you. It's, it's no coincidence that the evil religion of Islam is so strong over there, so strong in these parts of the world, Samaria, um, Iraq, Iran, um, all, all of these parts of the world over there, because God has looked away. Because God has said, you know, I've continued to reach out to you and you continue to be a people that don't even look at me. So to me, it's no surprise that Islam, an evil religion, is is having its way. Uh, but there, there is going to be one day, I mean, when you get into get into the prophetic, you'll see that the Lord will. There's, there's lots, of, lots of good things going to go on over in that part of the world, but you know, the Lord says, to this day, I've removed my hand from them. So, what do we take out of this? What, what, is, what is our life lesson? Those things that you do and in, in, in those things that, that keep you away from God, eventually God's going to give you over to them. Eventually God's just going to, to not look and say, you know what? Go ahead. God doesn't, he, he has not given us um, rules and regulations, protocol. He does, it has not given us all of these things to make our lives boring and, and unnormal. He has given us these things that we may live a holy life. Now, what happens when, when you follow his commandments and his statutes? Well, then you don't have the noise of sin in your life preventing you from hearing the instructions of the Lord. You see, when we, what we just read back here in, in verse 13, you see that God kept speaking to the people through his seers, which prophets kept speaking to the people through his seers, and they could not hear. Why could they not hear? Why did they not want to hear them? Because the sin was too strong, and, and what was going on in their lives was making too much noise for them to, to properly comprehend what they were at, what the, the um, prophets were actually saying. So, in our lives, if, if, if what is keeping us from the Lord is, is not only keeping us from relationship, but it's also hindering the voice of the Lord from getting to us. So, keep that way clear. You want to keep that way clear between you and God. You don't want anything between there. Because everything you put in between you and God is just an idol. Tear them down and live and hear the Lord Jesus Christ. Have a super day. I love you all.